Stoicism is an ancient philosophy focused on virtue, the highest good, and the endurance of pain or hardship without complaint. This philosophy was practiced by many in Athens around the early 3rd century BC and is still practiced by many today. A few notable figures who practiced the Stoic philosophy are its founder Zeno, Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius. My name is Brett, and if you're interested in increasing your persistence, self-control, and overall happiness in your life, make sure you stay to the end of the video so you don't miss any of these five basic Stoic principles. Number one, be satisfied with your portion of the whole. Marcus Aurelius said, let not your mind run on what you lack as much as on what you have already. Having your own ambition is important. However, appreciating what you already have can be freeing. Before going after something more, start by appreciating what you have. If you can do this, you'll watch your levels of happiness increase and your levels of anxiety decrease while you're on your journey. Seneca said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied. For he, that is, wants nothing. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he is not. Number two, endure hardship so that it becomes familiar. Throughout life, encountering hardship is a certain. So it only makes sense to practice so that when it does happen, it doesn't throw you off track from your goals. While some do go out of their way to practice extreme hardship, you can start with something simple, like turning your air condition off for a few days or taking a cold shower in the morning. You can even press yourself one rep or set further during your workouts. Negative visualization is another great technique to condition your mind. The idea with this is that you visualize negative outcomes in your life. This means taking what you already have and imagining your life without them. Life can be a hard pill to swallow, for some even impossible at times. But Seneca said that nothing in life happens to the wise man against his expectations. This means that if you are prepared for disruptions in your life, you can work those disruptions into your plan. Number three, seek nothing in return for your favors. Marcus Aurelius stated, So a man, when he has done a good act, does not call out for others to come see, but he goes on to another act, as a vine goes on, to produce again the grapes in season. Have you ever done an act simply for the sake of another human or animal? If you have, you know that there's no need for a reward because the reward that you receive is the feeling of true happiness and satisfaction that you get because you have done something for somebody else. The only wealth you get to keep when you die is the wealth that you've given away, is another great quote by Marcus Aurelius. What he means is that if you want to leave a legacy, try giving away what you can to those who need it more than you, and try doing it with true and virtuous intentions, not because you want recognition. Number four, focus on that which you can control, not on what you can't. Think about it, how often do we stress over something that we can't control? I mean, how pointless and needless is that? The sooner that we accept what we can't control and start looking and focusing in on what we can, you will notice an insurmountable difference in your levels of anxiety. Something that Marcus Aurelius said is that the more we value that which is outside of our control, the less control we have. The next time that you put energy into anything, debate within yourself, do I have any control over this or not? If so, then put everything you have into it. But if not, then find something that you do have control over. If you can master this principle, you will simplify and put more meaning into your life where it actually matters. As Epictetus said, take the liar player. He's relaxed when he performs alone, but put him in front of an audience and it's a different story. No matter how beautiful his voice or how well he plays the instrument, why? Because he not only wants to perform well, he wants to be received well, and the latter lies outside of his control. Number five, seek wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice so that you may lead a more virtuous life. In the Stoic philosophy, these four principal virtues are at the root of living a virtuous life. In later videos, we'll take a look at these and cover these more in depth. But for now, I'll tell you just to figure out what they mean so that you can put them to action in your life. Always question everything and come up with your own answers. The Stoic philosophy may not be for everybody, but I believe that everybody can take something from the Stoic philosophy.
If you find yourself capricious at times, I believe that stoicism could be a positive impact and bring you the level of repose that you need in your life to drastically reduce your anxiety and increase your happiness and self-confidence. If you want more videos on stoicism, then make sure you subscribe. One final quote from Marcus Aurelius to send you on your way. When you arise in the morning, think what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, and to love. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.